No, I did not forget the Mac users. Let's go in and create a REST API for Mac. So first of all, I'll right click right here and I'll say add and I'll say add new project. Pretty much like I just showed you on the Windows machine. So we'll say add new project here. And here we have to find um, the core web API right here. And again, if it's not available for you right there, you'll have to find it under .NET Core, App, and Core Web API like this. And let me just get this guy up so you can see the end here. And I'll say Next. Now it pops up and asks what version. Of course, you have to pick 2.0. I'll say Next. And now it asks for a name for the project. And we're going to call it Customer um, REST API like we did with the Windows version. There we go. And it's going to go under that same solution. And I called my folder. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. So I'll say Create. And now it should create this uh, API for me inside the Mac, just like we did on the Windows. So now it's actually, again, it's going to grab some information here for you from the wire so we can start using this web API. And again, we want to right click this and say set a startup project like this. There we go. And now we should actually be able to launch this uh, after it's restored all the packages. So I'll just wait until this restoring packages for project is actually done. So it says packages successfully restored up here and that seems that we're actually ready to run our beautiful REST API and we've selected REST API because I set it as default project and I'll try to say run and see what actually is going to happen here. Again, it launches the REST API just like we saw in Windows and hopefully at some point we'll see this uh, actually as running and we can start playing around with it. it pops up right here and notice <clears throat> the same thing as on the Windows machine but as I said on the Windows machine, the host that we're working with right now is localhost, meaning that it's your own local machine. The port, that's actually just an access point on your local machine. Uh, in this case, we're using 5000, that's the access point. So now you kind of have a unique access point for this specific uh, server or REST API that you have available, so you can now get to your actual information. And then we are calling API and values, and all of this will be explained in the next videos, because that's very general for both Mac and Windows. Um, but pretty much it means that we're going to look on the API for a controller called values controller. And let's have a look at that in the next lesson. The cool thing here is you just installed a new REST API in your solution. That's all it took. And actually that REST API is returning a list of values right now. See you in the next lesson where we'll try and actually make this into something awesome and start using some of the other code we have. Have fun.